Hello and welcome to a brief video demonstrating the setup of an automatic drone mapping mission using a Pixhawk based UAV and the Tower app for Android. The first step we took was to document some photographs at ground level to act as a reference for the drone images. Next, we turn the camera on and mount it onto the drone. All necessary cables such as the connection to the GPS antenna as well as the remote trigger cable are plugged in at this point. The next stage is setting up the mapping mission on the drone. First, the transmitter is turned on, followed by the drone itself, which goes through all the necessary pre-flight checks such as battery voltage, and radio controller signal. With this out of the way, we then proceed to connect our ground control station, an Android phone, to the Pixhawk flight controller via Mavlink. With the connection to the drone established, using the spline survey tool within the editor section of the tower app, we draw out an area of interest, after which the application proceeds to create a flight path automatically. Adjusting parameters, such as the altitude and camera model, allows us to tailor specific features of the mapping images, such as ground sampling distance and image overlap, attributes that are important for quality of the final map. With the mission setup completed, we upload the mission to the drone and run through one final systems check before finally taking flight. The length of the flight will depend entirely on the area that will need to be covered, the speed of the drone and the desired level of detail. The camera is set to take photos at regular intervals, with each photo being geotagged using GPS for accurate post-processing. What altitude? 40 meters? During the flight, within the tower app, the drone can be observed negotiating the waypoints as it works to complete the mission. Once the mission is done, the drone returns to the launch area, a location it saves prior to taking off. Keep in mind that the entire mission, including the takeoff and landing, is done automatically. Safely back at the office, and with the images downloaded to the computer, the processing can begin. Various applications may be used for post-processing drone images, both cloud-based as well as on-site processing. So the particular steps that you will need to follow may vary. We used Agisoft PhotoScan for this demo. Since the dataset we gathered was relatively small, the computation was completed in less than an hour. Once done, we were able to view various data types, including point clouds, 3D meshes, author mosaics, as well as numerous indices, such as NDVI. However, this is not the limit of information that can be gathered, as the drone images may be used to calculate stockpile volumes, biomass of crops, surface topography, and many other data sets as and where required. Thanks for watching. For any further questions, please feel free to drop a comment below.